Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to make purchase on Amazon app using EMI. Now, depending upon the credit card that you have, there might be different offers available for your EMI. So, let's see how we can check out those offers and how we can make the payment using the credit card. So, just open your Amazon app and then select the product that you want to buy and add it to your card so this is my card and from here you can see i have a lot of products added here now either i can buy all of them together and choose one emi for them or i can buy these products separately if you don't want all the products to be purchased under emi then you can just make them save for later like this and empty your card like this now there's only one product in my card and I want to buy this product using EMI. So I'll just tap here on proceed to buy now. Now on the second page, I will have to choose a delivery address. And for obvious reason, I have hidden this information here. Then deliver to this address. All right. Now we have to choose a payment method. If you have multiple credit cards available with you, you can add them using this option, credit or debit card. Once you have added them, they will be displayed here under recommended now let's check out the sbi debit card first so in most of the cases the emi which is shown for sbi will be similar for hdfc or access or different credit card companies because most of them offer near about the same interest rate so let's check for sbi first tap here on pay in full now you can see there are four options available it's because the price of the item that i'm buying is very less that's why only up till 12 months is displayed here if you buying something which is very costly then the emis will be for 24 months also now if i tap here for the three month you can see the interest will be 191 and the emi will be 2364 items price is 6900 but i'll have to pay 191 extra for the interest plus 199 as the processing fee which will be charged by your bank that is SBI here in this case and also you can observe that there is no option for interest free EMI because lately Amazon has abandoned all the interest free EMIs from all the credit cards except the Amazon Pay ICICI bank so if you happen to have this Amazon Pay ICICI bank credit card then you can use this credit card because in this credit card you can get the option of three month and six month with no cost emi which means you will have to pay no interest on the purchase using your amazon pay icic bank credit card and if you don't have this credit card then you can apply for it it's free of cost if you already have some credit cards with you then your application for amazon pay icic bank will be processed very fast and within few weeks you'll get your credit card and then you can use this Amazon Pay ICICI bank credit card for your no cost EMIs. So let's say I'll choose this one, six month no cost. And after paying all the EMI, I will have paid 6,900 only. That is the price of my item anyway. And the only thing that I'll have to pay extra is the processing fee, which is 199 plus GST. So let me choose this EMI plan. Then I'll have to enter my CVV. All right then just tap on continue now you can observe from here that even with the no cost emi there is some interest taken by the credit card now to compensate for this interest amazon is going to offer you one upfront discount of the same amount which you have to pay as interest so in effect your purchase becomes interest less so as you can see i will be charged a interest of 310 rupees by the bank and since I have chosen the no cost EMI, so Amazon is going to give me a discount of 310 rupees. So in effect, I'm not paying any interest. So this is what no cost EMI is. Then once you're satisfied with all the information, you can just scroll down, check the other information, and then you can finally tap here on place your order and pay. Then on the next page, you will have to enter the OTP that you receive. Now, if you have not chosen EMI option from the Amazon, then you can choose the EMI option on this page. But since we have already chosen it at the merchant website, which is the Amazon in this case, so we don't have to select any EMI tenure from here. And all we need to do is just tap on submit like this. And that's all the payment will be processed and your order will be placed according to the EMI option that you have chosen. 
So that's all for this video. I hope you learn how to make orders using credit card with the no interest or no cost EMI options. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.